So, my daughter just ate cat food. How's your day going? Hey guys, Lana here. It is week two of the Asian Readathon, and week one of Believeathon kicks off tomorrow which means today is mother's day it was mother's day and it was time for my family and they made it so incredibly special i got spoiled so much including this awesome mug which says super mum. So cute. They got me a bullet journal so that I can record what I am reading and all of the things. I haven't really done a lot in it and I'm not at all artistic whatsoever. Um, I don't have good ideas for spreads. I have a goal of, of reading at least 100 books this year. That's like a quick little thingy. Someone left a wet wipe on um, one of the pages. So my calendar, which I haven't finished, but the calendar and the events, which is where I'm going to put all of the readathons that I'm doing and plan out the rest of the year. It got a little bit mucky. The other one that I have done so far is my um, YA Indie TBRs. These were all recommendations from a group that I am in. And I got sent so many so I've just started those and then I have the first book in the series on this page which I can just pull out at random or something else. I don't know. Maybe make a game of it. Again, not that creative. I still have to do this month's spread for the Asian Readathon and the Believeathon so I need to get onto that and then also start the spread for next month. I have had an epic Mother's Day and got super super spoiled by the kids. I bought a new bookshelf for my book haul so I've laid everything out and I've just realized that there are no instructions so we'll see how we go. Wish me luck! Guys I found the I found the instructions. I got it right though. So, I'm not mad. Okay, since I haven't done any more updates on what I'm reading, I'll just go through and say what I've read and then just piece them out on the different days that I've read them, etc. This week I read my fourth book in the Asian Readathon, which was New Jean. I really enjoyed this. It was such an eye-opener. I just couldn't even imagine what they had to go through. She is a 16-year-old when she's writing this. Some parts of this book just made her sound really bratty. I remember being 16, so I have to give her some slack for that. And it wasn't even that bad. I'm just being very, very picky. This week was the first week of Believeathon. It's hosted by Gav from How to Train Your Gavin. I'm loving Believeathon so far. I have read three books so far and started on my fourth. Believeathon is such a cool readathon and it is just magical. So, in saying that, I'm a pretty unicorn. Okay, the first book I read in the Believeathon was Nevermore. I finally got around to Nevermore. It is the first book in a series and I piss off. <laughs> Go away, stop recording me. <laughs> I'm cool. You don't know. Leave me alone. Yep. <laughs> I am a unicorn. You best believe that. No respect. Actually, I kind of like this. Check me out. I'm actually loving this week. I might just wear it all day. No, I have to go downtown. No, I won't wear that. Or should I? Okay, so Nevermore. Absolutely loved this book. Morrigan reminds me of me when I was 16 and emo. She's not emo, but she's just all dark earthing. And that Jessica Townsend is Australian, is even cooler. I really try and read something from an Australian or New Zealand author every month. If you haven't read it, 
I highly suggest reading it. It is just so good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning to finish Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Ah. Oh. I loved this so much more than the movie. So much more. I can see why Rick Royden wasn't a fan of the movies. They got half of it wrong. I think they were just trying to make it as like, Hollywood as possible with the cast and everything. Didn't match up. I think they were just trying to put names in there so people would go and watch. If you're a fan, then you'd just be pointing out the flaws. I'm so glad that I hadn't read the book before I watched the movie because it just would have been disappointment city. But I really enjoyed that too and I will keep reading, especially now that he has announced that he's doing a TV series. So of course I have to finish the series before that comes out. The other book that I read this week is the Dream Traveler's Quest. This is middle grade but it's for a very young middle grade. The author is a Christian author, Ted Decker. I enjoyed this book but it really needs to be followed up with the rest of the series straight away. It's about a boy who is scared of pretty much everything. He gets bullied in school and his dad's solution to bullying is just stay invisible in that as someone who was bullied at school, that just is impossible and it annoyed the crap out of me that his dad suggested that and that his dad does do that because dad still gets bullied at work so he just doesn't take his lunch with everyone. He like goes into his car and eats his lunch. Like what are you teaching your kid man? You're an adult. That just, it just really irked me. So he goes to the library to hide and falls into a book and is transported into this dream world where he's told that he needs to take a quest. It's like stories for kids that don't want to read the Bible or don't have the kids version of the Bible stories. You can see the representation from the shiitake which are essentially evil and and there's this mysterious being Elion who is God. It's interesting. It's all right. Like it's okay for what it is. I got some mail today. Personally packed by Heather at Relove Print. They hand write your name. How cute is that? I'm really really excited to open this and I couldn't wait. So I have two kids there and a kid there. Relove Print is an Australian subscription box. They use pre-loved books that are in really good condition and the selection is curated to your likes. Hey, no one pushed your buzzer. It's curated to your likes and so you go through, fill out a questionnaire and then you can subscribe. So I'm loving this. I'm so excited to open this and see what's inside because I've never had one of these before. Can you imagine having hair like this? Like, I know people do this. Like, the hair is like this. It must take so much maintenance. <laughs> 